my name is Ariana, and my room is a mess. And I'm about to go on an adventure, so I've decided to document it. And I'm talking quietly because I don't know what time it is, but it's early in the morning. My roommates are sleeping. I woke up at five this morning, went to a morning jujitsu class at six. Now my goal, while my laundry is washing, organize some of this into my car so that I can go on an adventure. Kind of like in Eat, Pray, Love when she's talking to her friend and she tells her there's just nothing in her. She has nothing to give. She's gotta go find herself. I don't know if it's quite like that, but I just watched that movie yesterday so it seemed relevant. <laughs> but I'm gonna go align with myself, be with myself, and put myself in uncomfortable situations so that I can rely on myself and no one else. It is 34 degrees outside. We are not too far from Houston, Texas. It's a little misty. We're about to take a look at the car in question. Not that I thought you were questioning the car. The car just had the windows tinted yesterday so that nobody can see me in, in there. This is what we are working with. It's a little dirty in here right now. Here we go. There she is. The car is packed. The room is cleaned. All I have to do is leave. Yet, I am sitting here. I'm feeling scared, anxious. My mind is trying to reason with me, saying, why, 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 why would you do this? You have a lovely little rental that you're living in. You've got everything. My comfort zone is scared. I think that's what's happening. I'm also a little excited, starting to picture the places, trying not to think about the logistics, knowing that I won't be able to figure it out until I'm there, figuring it out. I've done this before. I actually lived out of my car for quite a long time. I'm feeling very out of practice, <laughs> especially because it's supposed to be 10 degrees on Monday. That should be fun. I'm just sitting in my car waiting for my girl. No. I procrastinated a lot. I'll give you guys a quick tour. Driver's spot looks much the same. Added some creature comforts. <laughs> I've got over here, electric water heater. I still need to get a converter. Those have been out of stock where I've been going. This is daytime back. So we've got my jackets and that's like the mudroom. The shoes, clothes, clothes, food, clothes. Food. We've got tennis racket, we've got a couple of geese, and my belt for jujitsu. This is the whole bed all rolled up for daytime. This seat will unlatch and these two pieces will lay down and I'll be able to unroll the bed and I'll, I'll shift some of this stuff. Filtered water here skateboard. I brought a heating pad so once I get the converter what I can do is I can put this in like the foot of my sleeping bag, turn it on while I'm driving, and then when I get in bed my feet would be warm. We are at our first stop, it's called The Big Tree. We are on the coast of Texas. So we just drove a few hours. Some of my fear has gone away once I got on the road and started driving, especially now that I'm at The Big Tree. This place is very special to me. Exuberant to visit. This tree has survived many things. We're just gonna get a little bundled up. So it's a little warmer down here. We've gone, we've gone, we're going south. Get some gloves. And we're gonna hang out with this tree. I don't know where we're gonna sleep tonight yet. When I say we, I mean me and my little kitty cat, Frady, here, who goes on all my adventures with me. Let's go check it out.
free. It's a beautiful tree. And over there is the big tree, the mother tree. We're in a tree. And by we, I mean me. I suppose you are as well, because you're watching this. So you're in the tree with me. Just beyond the tree is the ocean. Somebody's coming. Let's stay still. This is just one of the babies. The ocean is right over there. I am not wearing tree climbing shoes. But through these branches. It's the ocean. Here's the beautiful tree. Here I am. It's the end of day one. Found a Walmart to park at. I put down my bed. There were <laughs> some things I realized, but I'll need to switch for tomorrow. It definitely feels very chilly. I think I may need to get another sleeping bag. I did go out to dinner. Oh, I don't know why I got so scared. I like started feeling anxiety and stuff. There were so many cars in the parking lot. And when I say so many, this is a small ass town, okay? Anyway, I got scared because the parking lot was full and I like drove somewhere else and started doing something else. And then I was like, no, I'm gonna do this. And so I went back and I sat down and I bought myself dinner at this place and it was delicious. And I ate all of it and I was so full. Then I went to Walmart to walk around because there's really nowhere to walk around here. I'm gonna go to sleep now, hopefully. All these abstract noises keep me on high alert and I'm pleased that I got out of my comfort zone. A side note, nothing is open 24 hours anymore, just about. I was gonna go to this 24 hour gym. It's such a small town that I'm in. I would have been the only car in the parking lot. I try not to do that. So I am at a Walmart which does close in a little less than an hour. I'm hoping that there'll just be some cars in the parking lot. I was gonna do some hotels and do the parking lot there, but there's not anybody in the hotel parking lots either. Like this is a small town. <laughs> okay, day one complete.